Okay, today we're going to look at how to implement a very basic uh, AI that walks around on a nav mesh in Unity. Uh, so what you see here is what you'll have at the end of this first part of this tutorial. Uh, this is a little capsule that's going to walk around to various uh, little waypoints that I've set for it and navigate those correctly. All right, starting from a blank project, uh, what you want to do is I'm going to assume you already have a level laid out. So I'm going to drag this level that I made. Uh, I want to make sure that I have a surface that I can walk on. So I'm going to add a mesh collider to the geometry of this level. After that, I'm going to add a capsule to act as my character who's going to walk around. I'm going to position him so that he's somewhere on the level. We'll add a rigid body to this guy so that gravity affects him and he walks. And most importantly, a nav mesh agent. Uh, I should stop right here and just note that this is for Unity 2022, wherein uh, this AI navigation is its own package. It didn't used to be that way, it used to be built in to Unity, but most of this will apply. This A lot of this stuff is pretty much the same as it was back in the old versions. Uh, but real quick, if you have Unity version 2022, you're going to want to download this AI navigation package from the package manager. Okay, back to it here. Uh, so we have our uh, capsule with a nav mesh agent and a rigid body. I'm going to add a empty game object uh, to my geometry, to my level. I'm going to raise it up off the ground just a little bit, and we'll talk about why in just a second. And then I'm going to give it a nav mesh surface component and hit bake. And as you can see, the level is turned, the, the ground of the level is turned blue. This is just showing what the nav mesh looks like. So this is all traversable area. Uh, part of raising it off the ground a little bit uh, was to help the Unity's nav mesh surface find all these surfaces. Because it seems to me uh, when you're uh, when your nav mesh surface is a little bit below uh, or at the level of the actual geometry, it doesn't quite find everything. So that's just one thing I've, I've found with this new AI package. Uh, okay, so to wrap it up, we're going to write a real quick script uh, to move our, move our guy around, move our collider or our capsule. So I have a script here, basic nav mesh AI. It takes the agent and a couple waypoints, so we'll make those waypoints right now. Just a couple empty game objects. Make sure they're actually somewhere that the capsule can get to. Like here. And we'll put another one, oops. Another one over here. Like that. Yeah. And then one more, oops. This guy will go over here. And we'll get these added to this waypoint list. And we'll look at the code in just a second here. Okay, this is what the code looks like. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, again, as you saw, we're taking in the nav mesh agent we need and a set of waypoints. This is a list of transforms here. Ultimately, the waypoints are uh, vector threes are what we want to get out of it. So I'm taking the position of these transforms. Uh, so in the start function, uh, we're setting our initial waypoint. Uh, so it's the nav mesh agent. It's this dot uh, set destination function that you're going to use to give your nav mesh agent a new destination. And we're finding our, uh, our first waypoint in our list and we're grabbing the position. Later on in the fixed update function, Again, very simple. We're just checking to see how close we are to the waypoint that we're currently going towards. If we're within a certain threshold, we're going to increment the waypoints, and then we're going to set the next waypoint. And of course, if we're over the amount of waypoints we have, we're going to set the current waypoint to zero. So we're going to loop back to the first waypoint. And really, it's as, it's as simple as that. Uh, back on the nav mesh AI component, uh, you can see these, these parameters 
like speed and, and how fast it's going to turn and how fast it can accelerate. And is it going to break when it gets to whatever it needs to break? Like if there's an obstacle or something like that, or avoiding collision with another nav mesh agent that's walking around. Uh, you can see, you can tweak those parameters here. Um, so this is a, obviously the most basic example you can find it's for something a little more real world. Um, one thing you're probably going to want to do is not use the nav mesh agent to actually move your, your character around because you're probably going to have your own character controller that does stuff like animate the character and also apply whatever algorithm you want to do to move your character around, whether it's moving with rigid body physics or, uh, or otherwise, or just translating it around. You still probably want to do that yourself as opposed to having the nav mesh agent do it for you. Uh, so that's what this next part uh, of the tutorial is going to show you. But this is just the, the foundation is, is what you just saw. So moving on to the next uh, part of the tutorial. So this is, this is a, obviously a game project with a little bit more going on in it. But um, we can see here an example of an enemy that uh, has his own character controller, but he's using the nav mesh to, I might need to bake it again. He's using that nav mesh to uh, navigate around. Um, so I guess first we'll see it in action. In this case, he doesn't have a set of waypoints. He's going to go through a wandering routine and just kind of grab random points to walk to and then as a player, when I get close enough to him, he's going to try to engage me and strategically wander around. If he gets hurt enough, we'll see he'll start to run away. So now he's being kind of aggressive. And at some point, he's going to try to take off. So, what we're seeing here is a combination of a... It's a, it's a Custom character controller to move this guy around. I'm not using the nav mesh agent to do it. And also, I'm because I'm using a custom character controller, um, I'm integrating that with a an animator to play his walking animation and his shooting animations and whatnot. Um, so let's just take a quick look at what that kind of thing looks like to give you an idea of what you can apply in your own scripts. So similar to the... the um, the capsule that we're moving around, we still want that nav mesh uh, AI agent. Um, but in this case, we're going to tell the nav mesh agent that we don't want it to update his position and we don't want it to update his rotation because uh, I want to handle that myself in my character controller. Uh, so I have a function called spawn, but basically think of this as your, your start or your awake. And the important part here is I'm saying update position is equal to false and then update rotation is equal to false. So what this is effectively going to do is the nav AI agent is still like in the background traversing the level and walking around. Now what I want to do is, and what you will want to do in this case, is uh, take the path that it's going on and apply it to your character. And so I have the function called move here to give you an idea what that looks like. And uh, similarly to what we saw with the capsule, the first thing I want to do is, is I need the, the, the nav AI agent needs to have a destination. In this case, um, that position is determined a little more dynamically. It's not a set of waypoints. Um, I have it depending on the state of things, whether he's aggressively pursuing the player or running away or just wandering around, his goal position is going to be a little different uh, in each of those cases, but the principle is the same. I'm getting a vector three and I'm feeding it into set destination. And then to move my character, I'm asking the nav AI agent after a destination has been set, give me the desired velocity. This is going to give me the uh, direction essentially that the guy needs to move in. So this move is a vector three. So once I have the desired velocity, I'm saying normalize because I don't really care what the nav mesh agent, uh, yeah, the nav uh, agent AI 
I don't care what he thinks his speed should be. So I really just want the direction. And then I'm applying my own speed. Um, and then the, I change the speed based on what state you're in. If he's retreating, you go a little faster. If you're just wandering around, he's going to go a little slower. But don't worry about that. The point is, um, now I can move my character. I can translate him around. Um, so what the, the end of this function is, I'm getting a vector 3, uh, like a delta position. Uh, so this is how you can, this will give you an idea of how you can move your own character around with a character controller. Um, let me go to base character real quick just so we can see. Uh, where's move? Okay, so this is where I'm, just to give you an idea of how I can use that, what, that function we just saw to actually move around the character. So this is, this is what's going on here. So I'm getting the vector 3 out of that move function we just saw. I'm adding it to my current position. I can then set my animator uh, to uh, whether or not this character is walking based on uh, the magnitude of that movement vector that we just saw. So again, this gives you an idea of how to use your own character controller, um, but getting the benefit of the nav AI agent for figuring out just how to get around the level. One last thing I want to note is um, this line here where I'm setting the speed to whatever the speed is that my guy is moving around. So like I said earlier, the nav AI agent, if you turn off update uh, position and update rotation like we're doing here, it will still move this agent around in the background. Now if this agent's speed is not the same as your uh, your actual character controller speed, it can get out of sync. And so it, the, the nav AI agent might get ahead, uh, uh, for instance, of your own uh, character controller. So then he's not going to be able to get, you're not going to be able to use that direction. Um, this desired velocity is going to be wrong because it's going to be the desired velocity of the nav AI agent and not necessarily actually where your, your, your guy is as he's moving around the level. So that's just an important little thing to have. Um, as far as rotation, if you want it to always rotate with the direction that your, your character's moving, you can leave that update rotation uh, to true. Uh, in my case, I want him to look at the player so he can shoot at him. Um, but there's probably, like when he's wandering around, I probably could actually make that true. You know, it probably would be a good idea for him to walk in the direction. So anyway, this is just food for thought. Uh, and hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to use Unity's uh, navigation AI package. And like I said, in older versions of Unity, it's not a package, it's built in, but the principles are all the same. This basically works the exact same way uh, with, you know, maybe very slight differences. Uh, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, leave a like if you feel so inclined. Otherwise, that's cool too. Uh, check out my game on itch.io, Verily. And uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.